Welcome to this video on how to make pneumatic muscles. There are a lot of tutorials on how to make these, but I don't think they look good because they all use hose clamps or zip ties. At first I was looking at these pneumatic couplers. These are ring and when you push this back the tube is released. On the other side I've taken the ring out and you can see the teeth inside. When you use this silicon tube this is very soft and flexible. When you push this in, you can also pull it out again. So this is no good. Then I found these two part couplers. These are made from copper. You can slide this part over and push this part in. And now you can see the tube is supported from the inside. Now you screw this together and the tube is clamped so it won't come out again. The next thing you need is cable sleeve. As you can see, when I compress it, it expands in the other direction. This is the behavior you need for a nomadic muscle. You can also buy this in a metal version. Then you need to slide this over the silicon tube. And you need to make it oversized because otherwise this happens. Then you slide over the first part of the coupler, you cut the sleeving to size, and you take the second part of the coupler, you push this inside, and you screw it together. You do this on both sides of your muscle, and then you take a cap nut for one side, and a pneumatic fitting for the other side, and then you have your pneumatic muscle. Now I will do a short demonstration on how this works. As you can see, the expansion is pretty equal along the length of the muscle. In this muscle, this is not true because the sleeve is too large compared to the tube. That was it for this video. If you have any questions, you can ask them in the comments below. Please consider subscribing and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.